Well, I want to show also to everyone our trip last December seven, uh, December eighteen, in um, MSC Seashore. Wow, very nice cruise ship. It's a huge passenger cruise line and we stay in um, in the cabin with balcony that is beautiful you can see the ocean while we are sailing and it's beautiful but but i have a comments everyone they have right to, uh, to give the comments i love all the crew i love the boat i love everything the one i don't like is the food is always the same every day we stay there for 10 days we go to uh, mexico bahamas Casamel and another side of Mexico. I forgot the name. And Ocean K. We sail for 10 days. The only thing I have comment is the food. Because in MSC Mirabigilia, we went there also in the other cruise line. And the food is fantastic. But this time in MSC Seashore, the food is always the same every day, the buffet. And we feel like, whoo. So we need to go in, in the different restaurant, in, restaurant inside the boat. So we book three restaurants but we have also another uh uh what is that in the other side we have also the beautiful dinner but we didn't we didn't go there we just love to going in the buffet and that's the one it's a little bit comments but everything is fantastic I love the boat, I love the crew, I love casino, and I love the jewelry, and that is very good, very good in a cruise, a uh, passenger cruise line. MSC Seashore. You can see all the videos from the beginning and the end. And I want to share this video to everyone for my presence to everyone for this coming New Year 2024. Please watch that video and anyone wants to go in MSC Seashore, you can see inside uh, in my video, all inside and outside, and um, I have buffet there, and also we went in the restaurant. We go to Tepanyaki restaurant, and the butcher, and the forgot the other one. Supposed to be we ha we are there for 10 days in the special dinner but we didn't go we just went only for one day <coughs> because um we are a little bit busy somewhere inside a cruise ship by the way please watch that video and you will love it you will love it to those who are planning to going to the different place a uh, different um uh vacation to go you can watch this and maybe you can decide if you want to go in msc seashore but i want to tell this msc mirabigilia the best the best 
the best for the sheep and everything. And it's a big boat. And the MSC Seashore also is a big boat, a big passenger cruise line. But my best, my best is MSC Mirabigilia. But there are both MSC and the setup of MSC Mirabigilia, I love it. I love the mall inside the boat and everything. And but MSC Seashore, Seashore, it's beautiful too. But I can tell is MSC Mirabigilia is the best cruise ever for me. We will see for the next cruise. We will try for the next time. Okay, guys. I love you guys. I am dreaming someday because we try Norwegian Cruise Line. We try Royal Caribbean. We try Carnival Cruises. The one I didn't try yet. The Princess Cruises. <coughs> and I... Someday... We will be there. And I love to go into Alaska. I want to experience in Alaska. Many people say Alaska is the best one. Oof. I will try that someday. Thank you, God, for that benefit. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Amen. I love you guys. Please watch my video for the... Bake vacation to go anywhere. Bye. <laughs> happy, happy, blessed, wonderful new year for 2024. And God bless you all. And God bless whatever you touch. And I ask the uh the favor to God. God bless our life and businesses and everyone is they can find the answer to god remember before you do anything else do it for god seek god first and you will find the answer for everything you need Meditate the words and meditate also whatever you want. It will be happen. Bye for now. Hi, how are you today? Of course, it's nice to say you are blessed by Jesus and highly favored by God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Love and prosperity. By the way, I want to say first to everyone, Merry Christmas and Happy, Blessed, Wonderful New Year to all of you guys. Happy, Happy, Blessed, Wonderful New Year for this coming 2024. Amen. Wow. Now is uh, January 2024. Um, I want to say this to everyone. May the good Lord bless you and keep you and give you peace. And more wisdom and knowledge and love and happiness and joy. Protection success and victory victory for this coming 20 no not this coming your your country is already 2024 but ours here in usa is still december 20, uh, 31 2023 at 9:59 p.m. And we will wait for, I think, two hours. And will be 12 o'clock. Welcome 2024. Amen. I'm praying to everyone to bless your life 
your businesses and I ask the God's favor. God's favor will give you more blessing and more peace and love. Love to your um, inside of your family. There is love and joy and happiness and also protection and healing and success. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your love to us, your peace, your happiness, God, and protection to each one of the family this coming 2024. And thank you for every blessing, God, you give to us. <coughs> thank you, God. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I want to share this to you guys, love and prosperity. In Galatians chapter 5, verse 6, For in Christ, Jesus neither circumcision nor circumcision counts for anything, but only faith working through love. Amen? Prosperity is not just about money. God wants you to prosper in every area of your life. He wants you to prosper in your soul. He wants you to prosper in your relationship, in your marriage, in your business, in your career, and in your physical body, which is divine health and in your finances. An important key to prosperity in God's kingdom is understanding how much God loves you. Tina Turner said, what does love got to do with it? Well, I'm going to tell you. Faith works through love. In other words, Faith works by knowing that God loves you. If you are going to be successful in the kingdom of God, you need a revelation of the Father's love for you. When you know that God loves you, your faith will go through the roof. Love is powerful. Remember that. It is greater than faith and hope. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13, So now faith, hope, and love abide these three. But the greatest of this is love. Love is greater than faith and hope because faith and hope cannot produce love. On the other hand, love gives birth to both faith and hope in your heart. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Remember always, Jesus loves you, and so do I. Please, don't forget, subscribe to my video, comments below, and hit like and share to everyone, to your friends, to your loved ones. And I want to say this. I love you guys all, and see you in 2024 2024 january 2024 amen and more blessing to you guys and more success to your businesses and i ask a favor to god to give you more wisdom and knowledge god bless you all I love you guys. Bye. Rolling, rolling.
Enjoy the food here so far. You like it? Okay. And here is the view. Yeah. We are all inside the cruise already. And MSC, and that's the view outside. It's too crowded this time. Many people. Here is the MNC. Hi. Hello. MNC Seashore. Now I'm going here. Ooh. Cold. Cold outside. This is James Bond. Yeah, this is James Bond. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, oh, we're going in. No, that's fine. We're going in. No, I don't know. <laughs> Hi, good morning, guys. Um, now we are here in MSC Seashore. Before I start and showing all many videos and pictures since the day one, since the beginning, I want to show you first this. Yes, now we are in the bridge. Um, our cabin is with balcony and very nice balcony and you can see many things in the bottom. That's our cabin here. <coughs> And now you can see the other boat there. Uh, that boat is 
Carnival Vista. Did you see the boat there? That's Carnival Vista. And now we are here and I will show you the boat there. That is Carnival Vista. And now we are here in MSC Seashore. Last time we went in the boat, we went in MSC Mirabilia. That's the best one we have ever. And so that's why we come back to another MSC. And this one is nice too, but there is the, a little bit different for the food. We didn't enjoy the uh, four days food because always the same every day <clears throat> and now i don't know this uh coming fifth day we want to see but this morning we have a wonderful wonderful food and it's yummy delicious we still have a rollers in my head but anyway so that this is our cabin the, the, our cabin is in my back and that's our cabin here and also now I'm here and anyway I want to share um, the birds to you guys before we start okay I want to share the birds to you guys about sickness sickness is not belongs to God it's not belongs to you sickness is belongs to Satan um, wait oh sorry i want to remove my rollers before i just go because my hair is keep falling well i remove my rollers now so now i can speak to you guys um sickness is not belongs to you and it's not belongs to say uh to god and that is belongs to satan so you need to learn how to rebuke your sickness. If you have fever, cough, or whatever sickness you have, you need to learn how to rebuke it. Amen? Rebuke, that means like this. I want to command you. If you have sickness right now, lay hands in your head and say, I want to command you, Satan, right now. Get out in my body any symptom in my body right now get out and i pull it out and send it back to the center where you belong in the name of jesus and healing is coming healing for cough for fever or any symptom to your body in jesus mighty name hallelujah hallelujah amen amen and I want to read this verse to you guys. Remember this verse. You know what? When I get uh, epileptic before, since when I was young, um, I have epileptic until when the age of 20 years old. But at the age of 20 years old, when I get epileptic, I said to my mother, Mother, from now on, this is my last epileptic. Why? Because I want to claim the blood of Jesus. Because of the blood, I am healed. I am healed. I am healed in the name of Jesus. My dearest beloved, every time when I get epileptic, I'm so shy when I experience that. In my school, when I was high school, and in our customer, and... Uh, Every time I have epileptic, my face is going different direction, my hand is going different direction, my legs is going different direction, and I feel shy. But since when I claim and I got epileptic again at the time, and I said to my mother, it was 2020, Nanai. This is my last epileptic and I will not get epileptic no more because I want to claim 
the blood of Jesus. Because of His blood, I am healed. Amen? That is 20... Uh, no, not 2020. Sorry. It's not 2020 at the time um, when my last epileptic, I was 20 years old. It was 20... So, once you claim the blood of Jesus, my dearest beloved, I want to tell you that is real. That is real if you believe and use your faith because God is our healer. He will heal you if you trust to Him. Trust and use your faith and believe. God is your healer. Remember that because I experienced that when I was 20 years old. Now, I am 53 years old. Since 20 years old when I claim the blood of Jesus, that's my last epileptic. And I am healed and never, never went in the doctor. Every time when I get sick, when I got fever or whatever symptom I experience, I command sickness gone right away. Amen? I want to share this verse to you guys. I was here in the carnival cruise so now in our balcony so now is just want to give you a little bit refreshing we have that's uh now i am in the passenger cruise line msc and that is in the bottom we are in the 11th floor so now i want to finish my story and that's the boat we have no that's the next boat we have because we are here in msc seashore and that boat is carnival cruise by the way i want to share this verse to you guys in isaiah 53 verse 5 this is the one i hold this verse in my life isaiah 53 verse 5 when you get sick read this verse meditate this verse my dearest beloved you will see the difference the difference of your life amen so uh but he was wounded for our transgression for he was bruised for our inequities the chastisement for our peace was upon him and by his stripes we are healed amen praise the lord once you hold that verse in your life and say thank you jesus meditate that isaiah 53 verse 5 meditate that verse because of that verse my dearest beloved because of the blood of jesus because of every weeping he experienced in his life in his life that is our healing whatever sacrifice jesus did for us our lord and savior our healer our redeemer our everything remember jesus he will do everything for you once you trust to him once you come to him amen so from now on my dearest beloved if you are wishy-washy your mind look to jesus jesus is the answer god doesn't put sickness on you remember that in exodus chapter 15 verse 26 for I am the Lord who heals you. He said that already. I am the Lord who heals you. He heals us. He heals me. And I have many proof of healing. God did for me and to my husband. My husband, he had stroke. We never went in the doctor. 
we look only to our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. When he got first stroke, first day, he cannot stand up, his half body, right body, he cannot move. And when he stand up, he's, he cannot stand up straight. He stand up like that. When he's trying to make like that, he only like that. So when he's trying to walk, he all, I'm scared, he will bang many things. And then in 10 days, God did a miracle to my husband. In 10 days, he walked in the outside. In 10 days, he get the lawnmower and cut the grass in our front yard and our backyard and our neighbor's house our neighbor's house yard he cut also did you see that for how many days when he got stroke he cannot stand up when he's trying to stand up his body is this one and his body is bent. He cannot even like that. He cannot even like that. He cannot even like that. He is like that. And he don't have strength. But I always believe our God, our Lord Jesus Christ, He is our healer. And I look to Him and I said, Lord, I know this sickness is not from you. This is from the enemy. And I believe, I believe he will be stand up again and walk again. Praise the Lord. In 10 days, God is really so good. is really so good he stand up and walk going to the outside and cut the grass cut in our front yard and also in our backyards and also our neighbors yards and everyone our neighbors they are all surprised when they see my husband he's cutting the grass because they know he had stroke and he cut the grass and we never went in the doctor for healing he never take any medicine and he never uh, go for the therapy only we trust to our Lord Jesus Christ and God he gave to us what he needs to eat healthy because before my husband we love to eat in the outside we are not cooking the food just going out every day and we eat only once a day but full meal full food only we eat three o'clock in the afternoon and that's our lunch uh, that's our breakfast lunch and dinner and that's the one we did every day but sometimes we have bread in the morning but most of the time we didn't eat morning afternoon we just ate only three o'clock but it's a big meal in the outside because every time I cook my husband he don't want my cooking so we go in the outside every day and he loves to eat steaks and spicy but since when he got stroke, he don't want any spicy no more. And we are not eating all the time in the outside. And I said, even you don't like my cooking, but this is healthy because there is no MSG. There is no bed chin in Philippines. Be careful for using the bed chin and msg because sometimes it's no good to our body especially some food uh, like with gluten better mine if i eat gluten uh, with gluten 
I feel like reaction, something reaction in my head. But when I eat, when I cook, I choose to have gluten free. Uh, some pancakes, I choose to have gluten free than ordinary pancakes. Cheap a little bit, but sometimes for me, I feel headache. But thanks God for everything. So here is my advice to everyone. When you get sick, look to God. Look to our Lord Jesus Christ. I got a Father, I got a Son, and I got a Holy Spirit. Meditate His Word. Isaiah 53 verse 5. Because of His blood, we are healed. Because of His blood, we are saved. Because of His blood, God did miracle to me and to my husband and to all of you too. Guys, if you believe and you sure faith. Amen? Amen. And remember, Jesus said this in Exodus chapter 15 verse 26. For I am the Lord who heals you. Amen. God, God couldn't put sickness on you to teach you anyway. Remember that. I said this to our, uh, to the other verse, uh, to the other video. My other video, I say this and I will repeat again. God couldn't put sickness on you to teach you anyway. Because he doesn't have any sickness to give you. One of his sickness, um, not one of his sickness, I'm sorry. One of his names is Jehovah Rapha, which means I am the Lord who heals you. He's not the Lord that make you sick. He is the Lord of healer of healing he is the one who heals you who heals us some of the same people that say god put sickness on them to teach them something that's wrong and then you know what they do they take the medicine to get better why they get help to get better why do they get help to get better if we think that God made people um, takes people out of her through death then we also have to conclude that God made them sick and if that's the case why take meds if it's god's will why go to the hospital if it's god's will why seek out a doctor's help if it's god's will so you see it makes no sense right so my dearest beloved from now on look to our Lord Jesus Christ, our God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. They are all in one. Jesus said, My Father and I are one. Remember, most people they think they do wrong so that's why they get sick that is that is wrong and they think they get punished from God that is wrong so my dearest beloved some people they do wrong because they are taking cigarettes and anything so that's why they got sick the same my husband why he got sick because he loved cigarettes before 
for how many years since when he is 17 years old but praise God praise God when he got stroke and that's the end of his cigarettes and he never come back for taking cigarettes thank you Jesus for that and I thank you when he got stroke even the enemy he put the sickness to my husband who's the enemy you know who's the enemy Satan he did give sickness to the people so when he got stroke praise the Lord that's the end of his cigarette so my dearest beloved here is the one I want to say God is not killing people or taking people out of here through death Satan is the author of sickness and disease God receives his saints in death but he is not responsible sickness and death came into the world as a result of sin and the scripture says in everything give thanks not for everything first Thessalonians 5 18 there is a difference we can give thanks in every situation but if what comes our way is not from God we don't give thanks for the situation but we can give thanks in it for what God is doing in the midst of bad situation the Bible records three people that God took and he took them all alive the first one is Enoch walk with God and God took him alive and the second one is Elijah was taken up into heaven in in a whirlwind again God took him alive so when Jesus was taken into heaven a cloud of witness accompanied him and he went to heaven alive in resurrected body in a resurrected body and having defeated death hell and grave there is another boat here coming i'm sorry for the noise but this is the boat i will show you the boat to look to our God the Father, God the Son, Jesus, and our God the Holy Spirit. Because Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. 
remember that. Remember His words and remember His sacrifice to us. And remember, Jesus loves you. And so do I. Okay? Anyway, thank you so much. Can you join with me, all my uh, uh, watchers and viewers, all my family and friends? Please, join with me this prayer. My Heavenly Father, my precious Jesus, my beautiful, beautiful Holy Spirit, Thank you so much for this wonderful weather. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And wonderful place. Thank you so much for everything in our life, oh God. And thank you, God, for giving us the peace, joy, love, and happiness in our life. And thank you, God, for the healing power to our body. Thank you for the strength. And thank you, Jesus, for the protection, the success, and victory. Protection to me and to my husband and all the crew here in this boat and all the passengers and the captains and all around the boats, the ships, protect them all of God. And thank you, God, for the protection, <coughs> for our family here in the USA, our friends, and to all my, my family in the Philippines, and to all my friends. Protect them, O oh God, and bless them, O oh God, and give them the good wisdom and knowledge. And thank you, God, for loving us. Thank you so much. Thank you, God. And anyone who are in the sick bed right now, I command you. I command you sickness from their body cough, fever, or any symptom to their body. I command you, get out to their body right now in the name of Jesus. And healing is coming to their body right now. Healing is coming to their body in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, don't forget, watch my video, comments below, and share, and hit like, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Bye. Where's my husband? He's walking in our cabin, going to our cabin, and this is the cabin here in MSC uh, Seashore. And he's doing very great. He's the, my husband, he's the stroke survivor, but he's doing very good. <laughs>
This is um, elevator 11, uh, 11 floor. And we're going for dinner. The Japanese restaurant here with my husband. Look at me. Why did this is all the jewelry store. And there is the shopping mall here. Shopping for the jewelry and shopping for uh, there is the restaurant too. <laughs> and lots of jewelry here. Yeah, that's Jade. That's beautiful. And there is the ocean there. And all here is in the eighth floor. And <laughs> there is another shopping mall, shopping area here. Trust, we'll meet you. We're going to go in here. Alright, we'll be right back. Also, you can see many beautiful views here also. Every day we walk this aisle and my husband is walking great. He's doing a very good job. 16, car A. The receptionist area of seashore. This is the uh, different setup than the MNC Miraggio. The boat, Baking Mars Virgin, next to us, and here is the Mexico. Um, we are in Casamel.
here in Mexico. Now we are here in Casamel, Mexico, and that's the boat next to us. And this old people is going down from the boat, going to the shore. And now we are here in our cabin. Our cabin with balcony. We enjoy watching, watching the boat. Seashore, not Mirabigolia. Last time we are in MSC Seashore, um, Mirabigolia. Amen. So, my dearest beloved, today is the day. Today is the day to celebrate the blessing of God. Today. The blessing of God. Today's the day to praise them. Oh, I thought I taking picture already, Daddy, but it's not. Wow, this is the boat next to us. the MSC and that's both next to us now we are here in MSC we are in Casamel Mexico our boat, very big, very big ship, um, MSC Seashore. Samel. So, this is my husband Wayne. Wave, Daddy. And can you take me the video too, Daddy? You think I can see? Okay. Now, shut off. Uh, this one is a uh, Princess Cruise and Carnival Glory. And our MSC Seashore, and also the next is uh, by a uh, baking Mars. Here is the level 11. It's the level 11 here in MSC Seashore. So, this way is going to the cabin, and the other side is going to go pit floor, uh, 12 floor, there's another side of level 11, <coughs> and another side of this boat of level 11, and here's the thing. Going up to level 12. 
Remember, this is MS, MSC Sichuan. This is the level 12. Every carbon here, we have two elevator. No, two way. The other side is elevator, and the other side also is elevator. This one is level 12 and level 12. They're cleaning now. So now, we're going to let them. This one is level 13. This is level 13. So it's the same in <coughs> the same setup from level 11. And now I'm 13. And this is the cabin, long cabin here. area also that's the uh, level 13 13 so now here's our elevator here so now I'm going to <coughs> level a uh, le level 14 Here's Oh, they cannot see my face. So, <coughs> I'm going to level uh, 14. Okay. This is level 14. It's the same setup from level 4. And this is level 14 in the MSC. MSC Seashore. <coughs> All the same setup. Hey. Hi. Good afternoon. And here's the cabin in the 14 over there also. They are all cleaning up. Hi. Thank you. Have a very blessed day. Bye. Oh, I'm going to 15. Hi. Hello. So, this one is level 15 here.
we start to take a video level 11 This one is deck six. six. Later, I will be going outside, but I'm still inside the elevator because I'm going to the deck four. So here's the level four. This is the level four is the place to go in this boat, and also mimicking what is in here. Okay, this is level four. Now <clears throat> I'm going to level five. So I don't need to use the elevator. I think I will go this way. Ah. It's the block, the level five. Hi. Uh, this is the level uh, level five. It's beautiful area. Uh, this is all pictures here. Trying to avoid to take pictures because I I, um, I don't want any music. I don't want to get. Poder tirar umas fotos na água. Aí a gente fez, né? So now we are going to level 6. So I almost finished. Now well, I'm here in level 6. And you can see the beautiful and nice view here. This 
is the beach.
now it's time to go back home and waiting for our friends John to get back home. Thanks God we have a nice wonderful trip. Fotos 
So now it is. I'm going to level 6. So I almost finished. This one is deck six. six. Later, I will be going outside, but I'm still inside the elevator because I'm going to the deck four. So here's the level four. This is the level four is the place to go in this boat, and many things. What is in here? Okay, this is level four. And now <clears throat> I'm going to level five. So I don't need to use the elevator. But I think I will go this way. This big block, the level five. Hi. Uh, this is the level uh, level five. It's beautiful area. It's only level 18. It's a big ship, very big ship. This is the second ship we go for MSC. The first one is MSC. Right here is the biggest one. And this is the second one. going to level 17. I start to taking video level 11 to
another side of level 11 <coughs> and another side of this bowl of level 11 and here's the thing our route going anywhere and now I am in level 11 so I'm going up to level 12. Remember, this is MS, MSC Seashore. This is the level 12. Every cabin here, we have two elevator. No, two way. The other side is elevator, and the other side also is elevator. This one is level 12 and level 12. They're cleaning now. So now, we're going to level. This one is level 13. This is level 13. So it's the same in <coughs> the same setup from level 11. And now I'm 13. And this is the cabin, long cabin here. area also that's the level 13 13 so now here's our elevator here so now I'm going to <coughs> level a uh, le level 14 Here's me. Oh, they cannot see my face. <coughs> I'm going to level uh, 14. Okay. This is level 14. It's the same setup from level 4. And this is level 14 in the MSC. MSC Seashore. <coughs> All the same setup. Hey. Hi. Good afternoon. And here's the cabin in the 14 over there also. They are all cleaning up. Hi. Thank you. Have a very blessed day. Bye. I'm going to 15. Hi. Hello. So, this one is level 8. Car B. 
Uh, this one is a uh, princess cruise and carnival glory and our MSC seashore and also the next is uh, by uh, baking Mars Samel. So, this is my husband Wayne. Wave, Daddy. And can you take me the video too, Daddy? You think I can see? Okay. Now, shut off. I taking picture already daddy but it's not wow this is the boat next to us and this is the MSC and that's boat next to us here in Casamel, Mexico and that's the boat next to us and this old people is going down from the boat going to the shore and now we are here in our cabin our cabin with bathroom we enjoy watching watching the boat watching Let's see. 
seashore not Mirabigilia last time we are in NSC seashore um, Mirabigilia Amen so my dearest beloved today is the day today is the day to celebrate the blessing of God today The blessing of God. Today is the day to praise Him. The boat. Baking Mars Virgin next to us, and here is the Mexico. Um, we are in Casamel. And here's our boat, the bottom of our boat. Here's the fifth floor here. And this is all the fifth floor. And you can see here from there. And that's the building here in the cruise. With the elevator, and this is the receptionist area of seashore. This is the uh, different setup than the MNC Miraggio. So now we are here in elevator with my husband. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to fifth floor. 
from 16th floor, now he's, we're going down to 5th floor. Say hi, Daddy! <laughs> okay! jewelry store and there is the shopping mall here shopping for the jewelry and shopping for uh, there is the restaurant too <laughs> and lots of jewelry here yeah that's Jade it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And there is the ocean there. And all here is in the eighth floor. And <laughs> there is another shopping mall, shopping area here. Just we'll meet you. We're gonna go there. Alright, we're going to come back. And also, you can see many beautiful view here also. This is um, elevator 11, uh, 11 floor, and we're going for a dinner the Japanese restaurant here with my husband. Look at me. Where did Here's my husband. He's walking in our cabin going to our cabin and this is the cabin here in MSC uh, seashore and he's doing very great he's the my husband he's the stroke survivor but 
He's doing very good. <laughs> Did you enjoy the food here so far? You like it? Okay. And here is the view. Yeah. We are all inside the cruise already. And NSC and that's the view outside. It's too crowded this time. Many people. Here is the pizza section. So where do you want to go? The bread here. We have bread here. And the sweets. All the sweets here. All the food in MSC Seashore. Red. <laughs> and I will show my husband there. He's busy eating too. That's my husband. Hi, Daddy. It's fine. Yeah, I was me, me. I was going. Shelly's like showing her teeth. Yeah. Talking about the internet. Yeah. Something. Oh, you want to go?
Indian Sea Cruise Line with my husband.